So you want to know how the sausage is made, huh? You want to know how it's made? All right, fine, I'll tell you. There's plenty of things that you can do with a dead pig. But I recommend making sausage out of it. Now you see most people, the only bit of the sausage that they ever see is when they wake up in the morning and they open their sleepy little eyes and they see a big tray lying there on their lap with bread, eggs, and maybe one to two big plump juicy, delicious, maple-flavored sausage. But they never really think about how that sausage came to be. They don't really think about the fact that before that wonderful, delicious piece of tubular pork came into being, it was once a living, breathing animal, wallowing in the mud. Truth and fact, pigs are actually relatively cleanly animals, and are only forced to wallow in their own shit. But I digress. Once you have a dead pig on your hands and you or somebody you love cuts that pig into manageable pieces of pork butt and back fat, you then go along and start incorporating some salt and some sugar and some other seasonings like fennel, white pepper, cayenne, paprika, Maybe if you're going out there, some red beans, Worcestershire sauce, some garlic. And don't forget that black pepper. Never forget the black pepper. Make sure that you have the sausage casing. Now, I'm sure you can get your own just from the market, and that's probably the best an easiest way to do it. And from here on out, it's about after you whisk together the salt and the spices, and you leave the meat in the refrigerator overnight, marinating in all those good flavors, you have to start grinding. You force the pieces mixed together into the grinder. And you have somebody else catch it because, oh, and don't forget to tie off the end. If you forget to tie off the end, you'll be in a world of hurt. Yes. Then you feed the grinder with the meat. And out pops sausages, a one long link. And the sausages made into so smaller sausages. And from there, you have a whole long chain of them. You can poach them in water. You can grill them. You can smoke them if you like. At that point, it's your, it's your prerogative. But the small, the short answer is, of course, when I say I know how the sausage is made, I'm not talking about sausage in the literal sense. Because everybody should know how sausage is made. But I guess the point that I was trying to make, when I say some people don't know how the sausage is made, is because some people don't care to know. Some people are afraid of the truth. Some people think that they're above the making of sausage. But in reality, 
Without that sausage, their whole world would be meaningless. But they don't want to get their hands dirty. So they make somebody else make the sausage. They don't even think about it. They don't even allow the sausage and how it's made to even enter their consciousness. They just pretend that the sausage was always there, waiting for them to consume. And yet, they have to eventually face the fact that somebody had to do their dirty work for them. So point in fact, I do how the sausage is made. I'm the one that makes the sausage. I'm the one that kills the pig, that cuts it up into small, grindable pieces, and mixes them with the seasoning, and stuffs it into the grinder, and fills up the casings, and then boils and poaches them, and leaves them on your hand in the morning so that you can have tasty breakfast in bed. Do you?